We're looking at the striker sniper rifle from Ares again. This time we're going to be looking at the barrel and the hop, how to upgrade them, switch them out, uh, whether you want to put like either just a replacement or you want to upgrade the hop and barrel to something else to give you a little bit more accuracy and a bit more distance on the field. So we'll delve straight into it, we'll get the camera panned in and we'll show you what you need to do to get started. So we've got the sniper on the bench and the only th uh, few th tools that you'll need to do this are the two allen keys which are provided with the gun and you'll also need a large flathead screwdriver. So to get started we're going to use the two allen keys that are found in the grip of the gun. We're going to take the larger of the two out first and just loosen off the two main screws, one found just behind the trigger here and one found on the handguard just here. So we're going to get those removed. There's a second. And we're just going to pull the trigger housing up to the rear of the rifle, and that'll come loose. And then we're going to take the smaller of the two iron keys, and we're just going to completely remove the adjustment screw from the top there for your hop. So we're just going to wind that all the way out just so it's clear out of the way and not going to get stuck anywhere. So we take those off, pull the rear of the stock assembly off and then take the larger of the two allen keys, put it through the sling mount of the gun and then just turn it anti-clockwise which will loosen it off. that all the way and then if you just pull that up at the front and slide it towards the end of the barrel that will come off. What you hear, see here if I zoom in close is you'll see there's a little arrow on the barrel which indicates where it's supposed to be when you put it back together. So what you'll do is you'll tighten this up when you put it back together and then back turn it and then line it up with a little notch on the uh, receiver. So we're going to turn that anti-clockwise all the way, and it'll come through, that to one side, and then you're going to get a large flathead screwdriver, and then what you're going to do is you're going to look, if I can try and catch it on the camera here for you, there's the feeder hole just here for the hop up. Now this is threaded and it has two slots on it for, to put a large um, flathead screwdriver on there. So just pop your screwdriver on that feed, put it in the nozzle and just wind it all the way out. Just pull that out so you know exactly what you're looking at. So that's how it will sit in the gun. Just slot your screwdriver in there anti-clockwise turn it all the way out. After you've done that you can pull the hot unit out, just hold the receiver and just give it a wiggle and push it all the way out. Now on the hot unit you've got four posi screwdriver heads so you've got one here in each corner. So all you're going to want to do is take a Phillips screwdriver and turn those anti-clockwise. assembly will split into two and then you'll have like a VSR you've got your spring loaded feed mechanism there just put that to one side and then you hop and your barrel comes off it's a VSR type style barrel and hop so all your VSR barrels and hop units are going to fit these seem fairly high uh, quality but you're probably going to want to put some upgraded bits in there to improve your accuracy and your range. And then what they've done with these hop units, which is very nifty. Now, for those of you that know building um, very expensive high-end uh, token room VSRs, for example, they've got the slider system. So you've got a little metal slider and you slide it up and down 
and that was very much the way how to adjust your hop until someone came out with a top dead centre mod. And what the top dead centre mod, mod was, was on your VSR barrel you used to have to drill a hole which was uh, quite accurately measured so you get a hole drilled on top of where your uh, hop arm is and then you'd basically somehow either by gluing a bolt onto there or doing various other methods make it so that you could have a screw and what you're doing is you're turning the hop on with a top dead centre so the uh, pressure is being applied directly at the top of the hop unit and not from the side with the metal slider. Now Aries have included this as standard so you've got a top dead centre mod, uh, well it's not a mod but a top dead centre hop there fitted as standard so you haven't got to worry about that you're pretty much good to go straight out of the box they've also got a completely flat and smooth style nub there to apply it to your hop so they've really thought about this when designing it it makes it really easy for those of you who want to upgrade them because you haven't got to go do a load of mods and start drilling into your barrels it's already done there for you put your upgraded hop and barrel in and you're away with your, you know, your 500 fps spring that you've popped in there as well uh, and then you've got a pretty much fully upgraded um, sniper ready to go on the field with not very much cost to yourself so um, to put this back together you basically just reverse the process you'll just line your hop and your barrel in to the hop unit just make sure just make sure it's all seated properly and then take your little loading spring loaded gizmo pop that in there Make sure that doesn't spring out before you get the other part of the housing. And then you just want to close it, make sure everything's aligned. Might be easier when you do this just to remove the screws from the casing because they do get in the way a little bit. So make sure everything's aligned. Top of the bottom half of your casing, sorry. Get everything clamped together. And then holding that together firmly, just pop your screws back into place. It's a bit fiddly, but as soon as you've done it once or twice, you get used to it. Now, don't over tighten these screws as well, just Tighten them up till you feel them bite, and then stop. Because remember, you're screwing these into plastic. Uh, it would be nice to see if anyone comes up with a sort of a, a metal casing for these. That'd be nice. Just put your screws in there. Just till it bites, and stop tightening it. do you want to just slot your hot chamber back in there it'll sit into two notches which are on the inside of the receiver put that on there take your barrel make sure everything's aligned and then just start tightening it up Go till it's tight and you'll see it's gone a little bit too far so the uh, arrow is basically all the way around here. So you'll turn it back to where it lines up with a little notch on the receiver. So you can get that there for you. So you see there is a little notch on the receiver. Make sure that's perfectly aligned and take your feeding tube, pull that back into place your flathead screwdriver make sure that's tight and then we're going to replace the hop adjustment screw again so you're using very minimal tools for this as well the allen keys are provided for you then all you need is a flathead and a positive screwdriver or phillips whatever you call it to get this done so Make sure it's all aligned, turn it upside down, put the guard back on, 
take your sling point, your uh, bipod point even. Put your allen key in there, just tighten that up. Don't have to go too mad with that. Stock assembly on there, I'm just reversing the process. Tight. Just pop your own keys back into place in case you need them. Just plant them firmly in the grip. And grip casing back on there. And you're all done and good to go. So I hope I've made then explain that as easy as possible for you. Uh, thanks for bringing in the questions, like I said. Uh, the question came about the barrel and hot, we get to it straight away. If there's anything further you think we haven't covered, just let us know. Send us a message on the Facebook page or send us an email and we'll get to uh, a video put together as soon as possible. We really like these uh, sniper rifles, excellent value for money, top dead centre hop there right from the get go. Uh, they don't break the bank and they're becoming one of our best sellers. So thanks for tuning in. Any further videos you require, just give us a message and we'll get to it straight away. Thank you.